Hey Google, can you see the International Space Station in the daytime? The space station is visible because it reflects the light of the sun, the same reason we can see the moon. However, unlike the moon, the space station isn't bright enough to see during the mm. day. Yeah, I'm skeptical. So the consensus on the internet is that you cannot see the International Space Station in the middle of the day uh, without having it transit the moon or the sun. So I'm going to try it today. And truth be told, this is probably the fifth or sixth time I've tried this and failed every time. And I think it's been user error. So I think I'm going to get it this time. I've made some uh, corrections and I've calculated exactly where the International Space Station is going to be at 10.09. Zero, zero this morning. I'm going to point my telescope at that spot, count down to 10.09, and hopefully we see a flash of the space station through. If not, it'll be like the previous five times. So now I had to wait for several hours and I passed the time by taking some pictures of Mars and then the moon after the sun came up. Uh, the sky wasn't ideal for astrophotography, but I was really bored. So I'm sitting in my car because it's just too bright outside to see my screen. And if this does work, I want to see it in real time. I don't want to have to go back and go through this thing frame by frame. I had to do that once before. It's really painful. I might go in super stealth mode and put the towel over my head when the time comes just for some extra darkness. And I just hope the temperature of the scope hasn't changed that much. Okay, it's gone up a couple degrees. I just need it to stay steady. Temperature changes focus. And I don't have anything to focus on. I focused on the moon earlier. And I adjusted the focus a little bit to allow for about a one to two degree temperature change in the scope. But uh, the temperature of the scope can heat up really fast when the sun hits it. Five minutes. I'm not really feeling good about this. I think it's because I've had so many failures on this before. Boy, I've got that thing super bright and the focus is gonna be so far off. It's all right, it's all right. Start capture, call it daytime, ISS, five or six. I don't know what number this is now. I've deleted all the other ones. Uh, unlimited frame, so we'll just capture until I run out of memory. Four minutes, and it is really bright out. I'm gonna practice stealth mode here real quick. Yeah, that might be the way to go. I won't be able to do that if there's people around though. It's just too weird. <laughs> Three minutes. There's a woman over there taking a very circuitous route around me. That's wise. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. Two and a half minutes. I just don't want anybody to stop by. Come on, come on, come on. Two minutes. We got some clouds, but I think they're going to be fine. 60 seconds. I'm going to start the captures. 50 frames per second. I think at 30 seconds, I'm going to maybe get under this towel. Just to see if I can see it better. Okay, this is good. 30 seconds. I hear a car going by, 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't think it was there. I don't think I saw it. Gosh. Well, let's stop the capture. Uh, the thing is, you just don't know 
until you look at the data. So I guess I'll go home and look at uh, a couple thousand pictures and see if I caught it at all, like maybe on the edge and I just wasn't looking at it. Well, time to pack up and go home. Okay, so I left there pretty dejected. I didn't think that I caught it, but when I came home and started going through the 3,500 pictures that I captured, I actually caught it. And I'm gonna have to go back and look at the screen captures to see if it was even visible because it passed through the screen in like 0.4 seconds. And here it is slowed down to 20% speed. I'm just gonna play this. Check this out, look at the top. That is incredible. I did not see that in real time. I, I'm so happy. I thought that I had failed again and that I would never try this ever again uh, because I put a ton of time into this uh, this morning. So let's go back and look to see if it was in the uh, screen capture at all. 209. So here, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's not there. I don't think it was there. It's not there even in a single frame. It wasn't there. So the computer's refresh rate or the capturing software refresh rate wasn't enough to even catch a frame. Hey, as we close it out here, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Here is that final video in full quality and color corrected. This is slowed to 10% of real speed. So the 0.4 second pass takes about four seconds here. I think the most shocking thing is how I'm just a few widths of the space station away from missing this completely, maybe just a tenth of a degree. And here's the final picture I got out of this, but it really wasn't about the picture. It's just about seeing if I could do it. Uh, this was a frustratingly long journey, but it ended very well. And thanks for coming along with me.